a birdie on 14 to take the solo lead, followed by this on 15. A beautiful cut shot right in there. See if he dialed it up. Oh, yes. Oh, did he ever? Wow. A career best nine birdies on Sunday and only two bogeys on the week catapulted Patrick Cantlay to victory at the Zozo Championship at Sherwood. I would say that's pretty good. I've been playing really well. I feel like the last little stretch, I just haven't put it together four days in a row. And this week, it was different. You know, I played really well in Vegas, so I tried to take the first week in Vegas. And so I tried to take as much as I could from those first three days. And uh, it was nice to get off to a good start today and, and play really well. Despite this shot on Thursday, John Rahm played really well too, finishing tied for second at 22 under with this guy. There's nothing JT fears. And anybody that can hit a shot through Celine Dion music coming from one of the nearby houses, it's big. Are you not entertained? Speaking of entertaining, Max Homa took over JT Poston's Twitter this past week after placing a bet that his Dodgers would advance to the World Series over Poston's Braves. Come on, JT, you ought to know better than to bet on a Georgia sports team. 126 plus one, Adam Long. That's how many combined wins were in the threesome of Long, Phil, and Tiger on Sunday. If you ask me, Phil and Tiger were in good company. When we say we love fall golf, we didn't mean it this way, Andrew Landry. And leave it to our crew to catch one of the most embarrassing moments he's had <laughs> oh God. on tour. Plus, it's in slow motion, too, which is, makes it even better for all of us. Whoa, oh, whoa, he's slippery. It's almost uh, like he's got spikes on, but I don't think they're soft spikes, uh, yep. aren't they? <laughs> that is a full fall. Fall golf did bring out the newest wardrobe debate. Are you team hoodie or team no hoodie? Rory had seven circles on his card Sunday and finished the tournament with a career best 29 birdies. I'm just saying. For everyone else, number one at Sherwood is a 340 yard par four. For Matthew Wolf, it plays like a par three. Trying to turn one over and just kind of whip it down there as far as he can, something like that. Are you serious? Oh, just flushes it. Speaking of distance, you've probably heard that Bryson hopes to break out a 48-inch driver at the Masters. Check out what he did this week in practice. He carried over 400 yards for the first time. Augusta could get interesting. Records are meant to be broken, and Richie Rurinski did just that on Friday. His 61 broke the Sherwood course record set by Tiger Woods. One thing you would change about yourself my hairline. <laughs> I would like to have more hair. One thing I wouldn't change about Tiger, putts like these. And then once the ball gets down towards the hole, it's going to try to maybe sneak a little bit back to the right. OK. I'm all smiles, too, as we head to the Port Royal Golf Course for the Bermuda Championship. Taryn Gregson will have your first round coverage for you Thursday night in The Takeaway.